Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use group tabs in Microsoft Edge and what that'll do is it'll allow you to group your open tabs into categories making it easier to find what you're looking for rather than having to search all over the place for different stuff you could just kind of have it in different categories and get to it easier from there. So I have a, some tabs open here for some various categories like I have some mountain biking sites, some shopping sites, some streaming sites and then a couple sites that are not related to anything like this, the online computer tips and this presentation. So we're going to make a few groups here. So I'm going to start with a mountain biking website group. So I'm going to pick one of the mountain biking sites, right click on it, add tab to new group, pick a color. Give it a name, press enter. And now you can see it has the green name here because that's the color I picked with this bar over the top showing that it's part of a group so there's only one tab so um, we're going to have to add another one so we got another one here add tab to group now you can see now that we have that tab there or that group there we could actually just click on it instead of having to type it all over again from scratch and then same for this one so now you can see we could click on the group name and just slide it and it takes all the tabs with it so next let's do our streaming new group Press enter and give Hulu in that group. Okay, now we got this one connected there. So now finally let's do our shopping. And let's add target to that group. So now you can see we have all our groups here, and then we also have these standalone pages. Actually, we could even add Add Amazon to that group too, since it's shopping. So everything's connected. Then we have the one standalone here, the presentation standalone, that type of thing. Okay, so now if you change your mind, you could simply just right click on one and ungroup, and it'll just put these back to separate tabs. And if you were to close a tab, or right click and close group. Then if you do control shift T, it'll bring that back. And another way you could bring it back is if you go to your history, so we'll close the group here, go to the three dots here, go to history, and then recently closed, you could click on it from there and bring it back. And if you don't like this, the way this looks up here, another feature that uh, Edge has is for the uh, vertical tabs. So if you right click on any tab and click on vertical tabs, then you can see it puts them in this kind of category, which is a little more easier to read when you're using these groups. And also, when it comes to uh, restoring your groups here, let's say you close your browser when you want to keep these groups. If you have the setting for that in your settings here, if I can find settings, okay, just go to your settings. Then you go to Start, Home, and New Tabs. And if you have the setting for Open Tabs from the previous session, checked. So then if you close your browser and reopen it, it'll bring back all your tabs here, plus your, your groups and your other tabs. And if you don't like the vertical bars, you can just right-click or actually just click on this little box up here, turn off vertical tabs here, and then you're back to normal. Yeah, so once again, just... You know, right click on any particular tab, make a new group or add to an existing group. And you could ungroup it and then, you know, see how you like it. And if you want to use the vertical tabs, turn on vertical tabs and see if that works better for you. And then you could just kind of, you know, cycle in between them and you have all your categories and you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.